on schedule. Uh, it's time for business half hour, and the crew already in the studio. Well, not in the studio with me. You know the way we do it is always we, they're zoomed in. I would say uh, we have Wadai, and I guess this morning is Lou Odunuga. Uh, good morning, guys. Morning, Bukola. Good morning. Lou. Um, what? Good morning. Good morning, Lou. good morning, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Welcome Wadai. to. Welcome to Business Half Hour, brought to you by Naira Metrics in partnership with Classic 97.3 FM. Um, it's another great Monday morning. It's the last, second to the last Monday of the of the month of November, uh, and the year is fast running out. Um, we call our beautiful music to okay. start the show. Our guest this morning today. is uh, Lou Odunuga. He is the chief executive uh, chief executive officer of BetaCar.ng is an automotive e-commerce marketplace platform. He's, he's a mechanical engineer, and he holds a master's degree from Emory University in Atlanta. So can we get to know you more, Lou? How are you? Hi, Bukola. Hi, everyone, once again. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, so tell us more about yourself, please. Well, uh, you, you've kind of captured the essence of it, uh, but I will just add a little bit more to the, to the nugget. Uh, like you said, my name is Lou Odinogar, and I, I lead the BetaCar.ng team as a, as a CEO. I have uh, over 20 years of professional business experience that has been focused primarily on sales, marketing, and uh, business operations. Hello, Lou. Can you hear me? All right. Um, Lou? Yes. Okay. You have Did you get that? 20 years experience. Professional experience? Yes, I've got over 20 years experience professionally. I probably don't look it from, from my very nice looking baby face, but, but yes, I do. And uh, I have a very, what I would call a very uh, colorful experience uh, that, has, that has spanned various different areas um, that sometimes are almost seem like opposites. Um, like you said, my, my background originally was in mechanical engineering. So as an engineer, very technical, but then over the years, I switched to the commercial side to consulting and then to business. Uh, so I'm more on the sales and marketing side of things in the latter part of my career. Um, I've worked in Silicon Valley in the tech space in California. I've also worked in manufacturing in Houston. I've worked in Lagos. I've worked in consulting with Accenture. Hello. I've also worked in telecom space here in Nigeria as well. So it's kind of a, a, big, uh, a big set of different areas that I've, I've kind of got a bit of experience in uh, prior to, to reaching the point where we decided to, to, to build bettercar.ng, which is where we are right now with me leading the team. Okay. So what, what, what was the inspiration behind bettercar.ng? <laughs> good, good, good one. Um, there's, it's, it's actually a very, it's, it's a personal story uh, in a way, uh, and I'll share it very quickly. So I, I've always been very passionate about cars, first of all, uh, growing up as a kid, but that really wasn't for me, that really wasn't why, it wasn't a good enough reason to get into the business. It's, a business has to solve a problem for okay, people, uh, for you to get into it. So business have okay. on uh, 97.3. Wade, would you go ahead? Go on. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Bukola. I'm um, sorry for for the, for the interruption. Interruption. We're trying to get out the best um, the best um, um, sound bite out to our listening public. So, Lou, you can go on. I said, what what inspired Better Car? Yes. Dot so I was saying earlier that. Uh, th there's a personal story, even though I've always loved cars, that, but uh, there's a personal story attached to it. Um, so which you can probably, a lot of people probably relate to it. So a couple of years ago, uh, maybe about four, four years, four, five years ago now, um, one of my uncles was having a milestone birthday. You know, the typical, uh, you know, 70 year old kind of birthday, everyone, all the kids and relatives want to have a true a big a big bash for them, bring gifts and all. And and so his, his kids, my cousins, who are actually based in the US, wanted to buy a car for for their for their parent. And they had asked me to help because 
in typical Nigerian fashion, sometimes we keep things to, too late to the last minute, so they couldn't ship the cars in. So they said, okay, help us get something locally that is really great and good shape, good quality, and we'll send you the money and you help us take care of it. And that began my journey. And I thought, oh, no problem. I'll just, you know, walk into one or two places and buy it. Unfortunately, the funds, the budget they had wasn't enough for a, a brand new car. So what they wanted me to buy was a, a pre-owned, fairly used car, maybe, you know, relatively good, maybe five year, four, five year old car. And so that began my journey of looking for that car because I wanted to deal with it personally, to be able to hand it over with a bow on the birthday for my uncle. I went to the first, first, the first challenge I experienced was that I couldn't find anywhere that I could say, okay, this is where all the cars are and I can see what cars are there before I leave home so that I'm not wasting a trip. So each time I went out looking for a car, I would end up going to three, four, five, six different places. I don't know, I'm going in blind. I don't know what cars are there. When I get there, they don't have the cars I want or they have a car, but they don't have the right color. So I have to go there and tell me, oh no, go to Sule, there's another one here. And then go to Ikeja and go to Lekki. So that whole legwork hassle was pretty strenuous. So that was the first part of it. The second issue that I experienced during that process was the prices were inconsistent, right? So I would get prices ranging from, from 10% variation all the way to double. And everyone claims, oh, that's my price, that's my price. There's no standard on, on the pricing. And some are looking on how to, and, and then a lot of, a lot of you also meet a lot of shady, shifty people selling these cars, right? They're looking to cheat you. They package the cars like the lingo, they say in the lingo of the industry. And they're looking for someone naive that might buy it and then has a problem with the car. So I kept going from place to place with the mechanic. So, 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 so sorry to interject to you. So be, be, based on all, all, all you said, um, the inspiration behind it. Um, so how do you think Betaka um, would best service the market for, for car buyers, car dealers, and what, what kind of competition are you looking at in terms of local and even, even foreign um, competitors? Yeah, so so better car, you know, the bettercar.ng was a direct. We 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 built bettercar.ng from the ground up, right? So we built it from scratch with a vision to solve that problem that I had experienced and which I realized several other people had also or were experiencing as well in buying used cars. Which was the first issue was issue of of the quality of the cars, right? And then also access. Uh, it, 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 like an online place where you can go see the cars before you, before you even leave home. Kind of like an Amazon of sorts uh, kind of structure where I, I can see what I want to buy I, you know, before I even leave. And I know where it is, right? So, so that's one. When I get there to where I want to buy it, I want to be assured of quality of the car because a lot of Nigerians have faced cases where uh, they buy a car and then a few months later, sometimes even weeks, it gives you problems. All right, and so that's the problem we've, we've decided to solve as Betaka, which is to give Nigerians vehicles, cars, used cars that have top quality and give you peace of mind. That's really, really our, our business uh, proposition. Uh, and, and, and so looking at it today, you, you search the web, they are, they are getting into hundreds of, of, of um, um, car internet dealers. Um, I, I, on, on, we can't mention a, a few of them because we don't want to advertise them on, on radio. <laughs> Thank you very so, much. Uh, you, yes. but, but that card of engine is the one that should have the hair. But, right? but there's, 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 a huge, there's a huge competitive market out there. How are you dealing with these challenges of competition? And, 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 and just to add to that, how do you make money? Or how have, first and foremost, how have you funded this business? And how do you make money from it? So that's, that's a two-in-one question that I, I, I would really like our audience to get to know more about. Sure. So the the, the so answering the, a couple of questions that I need to unpack in there. So the there are many you search online, you would find many different car sellers, you know, advertising their goods, their wares. But the, the reality is that when you want to buy something, you're not looking to just buy anything, right? You're looking to buy when you as an individual, uh or, or Bukola or anyone, or even all our listeners out there, you know, in the country want to buy 
something as important as a car. You want to buy something that is of quality that will give you that peace of mind that you know you're not going to have issues with the moment you drive out. You want to, we see we see a car buying almost like like a marriage, like it's like a relationship when you buy a car. It's a very special, unique thing. And you don't want to buy something that is of or just anything. You don't want to get into a relationship with just any car. You want to get into a relationship with a car that is top quality, that you have full peace of mind. And the reason why Betacar.ng right now, in my view, has very little competition, despite the fact that there are tons of sellers out there, but we still have very little competition, is that we at Betacar.ng are the only ones that fully certify and stand behind the quality of our cars 100%. We do a full diagnostic check upfront, our technical and quality assurance team checks every single car, 200 points in and out, engine transmission, and we ensure that every car that is sold through our platform is 110% perfect. There's no issues with it. And then we back that up with a warranty. We're, we're, we're the only ones that are doing that, you know, and standing behind it. Everyone can say, oh, I do a warranty like this, but we're the only ones that actually stand behind it. And, and the, the, the hundreds of customers that have come to us so far uh, we, we can attest to that fact that they've had a great experience with, with that. How do, you, uh, how, do you, how do you make money? <laughs> Quickly. How do you, because we have to go on a short break. How have you put money into it and how have you made money? So, so we put money into it. A lot of it has been through, through savings and through some partners that also believed in the vision and also put money in for us to, to you know, achieve this vision. Um, also, a few family and friends that, you know, also felt to, yeah, this, this is a much needed um, solution for the Nigerian market that Betaka.ng is providing, and they wanted to be a part of that, that story. So that's really how we funded it. Um, we, we're starting small, and we're looking to scale up. So, so that's the way we've kind of run it. Um, and in terms of making money, it's, it's, it's a very good, profitable industry. But, and we, we just make money by, by, you make money by selling. You buy at the best possible sourcing price, and then you ensure your processes are good and you're selling it at a competitive price that customers would be able to, to afford. And, and our customers keep coming back because our prices are great, the quality of our products are great, and they know we stand behind the, the, the products we sell at Betaka.ng. Okay, Lou, we have to take a short break. And when we come back, we will talk more about doing business and the automotive industry in Nigeria. Bukola, over to you. All right. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to Classic FM 97.3. It is business half hour. And we're talking with Lou this morning of Better Car Niger. We'll be right back after this. Do stay with us. You are doing with us and we're there as well. Is business half hour? We're talking about betacarnigger.com and the origin of it all, how it all started and his business experience. So it's back to you, Wadiye. Thank you. Thank you, Bukola. It's, yeah. it's great to be back. Um, we're talking about um, better car and, and the car industry. And um, we're, go we're going in the second part of the show. Um, quick one. Um, because there are a number of questions we need to quickly run through and, and right, the number of things worked. have been going through my head based on all you said. Um, <laughs> right. We know that we, without people, you can't do a business. And especially in the car business, without the consumer or the customer, then you are definitely not going to be in business. So considering that fact and with the effect of, of the pandemic across the world, um, how how have you been able to build people to help you run this business? And that's one. And what has been the, um, the um, interaction with, with people in terms of how the business runs and, and how you, you generate income or revenue towards running this business? All right, thanks you, Adi. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, um, we, we, the staff, we have about 10, a staff of about 10, uh, people and uh, they're all ex they're all great and exceptional. I'll say that upfront here at Betaka.ng. We've been very fortunate and blessed. For me, the the thing is that I, I believe Nigeria has an abundance of, of of skilled talent. That's I don't think that's our issue. So finding skilled uh, labor or skilled uh, talent pool is not the issue. The issue is finding reliable uh, and and honest, trustworthy, skilled workforce that is the issue we've been that that faces most businesses in nigeria we've been very fortunate at betaka that 
that the, the team we've built so far uh, has been exceptional in that area. They're, they're very skilled in their respective areas, and they're also very reliable, hardworking, and, and, and exceptional when it comes to honesty. So, so we've been very fortunate in that area. Um, so that's on the, on the one hand. Um, a lot of that has actually, I, I would say, a suggestion I would have for a lot of people hiring in that aspect is to rely a lot, on, lot more on referrals. That has helped us a lot. Uh, referrals has helped us to improve the quality of the people we, we, we've been able to bring in. So I think that gives us a, and then also the interview process has also been very one-on-one. -on -one. So that gives us a chance to get a feel of the person uh, before, uh, rather than just a resume and the CV on the page. So that's on the one hand. I believe your other question was around... Uh, how it was around the pandemic and how it has affected pandemic. the business in, <laughs> in terms of your customers. Yes, the pandemic, uh, our popular, the most popular topic, uh, trending topic in the last nine, nine months now. Yeah, so just like everyone else, we've, we've had our challenges at betaka.ng with, uh, with regards to the impact of the pandemic. Um, but we've, we've been, I mean, we've been, we've been fortunate that we've been able to ride that wave and, and come out positive at the other end. We, the issues with the shutdowns, we had challenges with the shutdown where we're selling a very physical product, right? So even though betaka.ng is a hybrid platform, we are both, we're both online and offline. That's one of our unique um, selling points at betaka.ng. So customers that want to interact online can do, go through the entire process, look at the cars they want, pick it. You can even pay for your cars online. So you can do everything online and we, we deliver it to you. Or you can come into the physical betaka uh, store and pick your car, kick it around, test it, which more people uh, do, uh, as we've seen. So the physical process was, was really challenged during COVID because people couldn't move around. The shutdowns were there. People were scared as well. So buying power was also another issue of flight to, to safety for, for, for funds. Most people were thinking to themselves, okay, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the next three months. Is my company going to lay me off? Is the world coming to an end? Is what's going on? Do I need to travel to Canada? You know, So people were not thinking of buying, those who were thinking of buying cars originally kind of put a pause on it for a bit. So that's why it slowed down in our, in our demand for, for a while. But in, I mean, in the last uh, two months now, that has gradually started to, to inch back up. So we're, we're in a pretty good place now. Okay. Um, so now let's come, let's come to the car industry as a whole. Um, yes. off, uh, earlier on, we're talking about the um, reduction of tariffs in terms of, of imported cars. And we we're comparing right. that to um, the competition in the local market, as one who is in this business, um, where do you see, or how do you see um, the reduction in tariffs in, in, in terms of helping to build the local market over time? Because one of the things that we, real, we, remember, we should remember is that if we're not um, manufacturing, then we'll forever have a huge challenge in terms of foreign exchange and bringing in cars into Nigeria. So what's your take on that? Yes, yeah, so, so it's, you know, it's, it's a mixed bag. Uh, there are two sides to, to it, just like we would say to every story. Uh, there's, a, there's a positive side to, to the tariff reduction. Uh, and there's also a side that is not as, as, as rosy, so to speak. Um, the, the positive side, I would say, is more in, in the immediate right, because it's, it enables, it plots the gap for a lot of people that are looking for good quality cars um, to, to be able to, in terms of customers now, so the customers out there in, in Nigeria being able to access good quality cars, a good supply of them, and then because there's more supply due to the tariffs going down, lots of demand and supply will kick in, so prices will begin to, to inch back down. Earlier in the year, when the FX first went up in the first quarter of the year, uh, when COVID first started kicking in, we've seen a gradual increase in prices of, of, of cars in, in Nigeria, So, which consumers have had to bear, right? So with the reduction in the tariff, that provides a, 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 an amelioration of that impact such that now importers and sellers of cars can begin to, to reduce prices a little bit because their own cost of supply has also gone down. And that will pass on to the consumers who get the benefit of that uh, impact. So that's a short term, that's a positive. The other not so great one is that clearly the, the local uh, manufacturers and those that are investing in local manufacturing would need a bit more support from, from the government uh, to be able to longer term scale up to the levels they need to make uh, 
the, the, the product calls that they are making both of the right level of quality, because that's a concern I've heard a lot of times from people. Uh, even the, the look and feel of the cars still have a bit of ways to go. Uh, and then also the cost of, of, of the cars to, to for, for that whole mix to, to make sense for most Nigerians to want to, to buy that. So the government still needs to do a lot of to support over and beyond. It's not about increasing or reducing tariffs in the immediate. That's more of a long-term plan that the government needs to lay out and execute to be able to get that, that automotive industry locally to, to get to the point where it needs to get to longer term. Okay, our time is fast running now, but we have two things that we need really need to talk about before we go off air. The first one is based on your on, on your response to the local manufacturing and the imported cars, where does better car see itself in the next five, 10 years in terms of are you still going to just be importing cars or you're looking at um, that transition into a car manufacturing business in Nigeria? Quickly on that, and then we'll take the last question. So, so Betaka, where, where we see ourselves, we don't see ourselves as just people selling cars. What we see ourselves at, at betaka.ng is we see ourselves as selling quality, right, to customers. So, so for us, it's about we're good, we see ourselves in the long term being a, a major player in the, in the automotive space, in the mobility space is what I would call it, because transportation is going beyond just cars. Now, if you look next 10, 20 years, 50 years down the line. So we want to be a big player in the mobility space, uh, inclusive of the automotive. And with the underlying theme being that we prov always provide quality vehicles, quality transportation, uh, quality products for cost consumers out there so that they have peace of mind. We want Better Car to be the first name that comes to the minds of Nigerians whenever they are thinking of buying a used car. You know, because they're thinking, oh, quality, I'm going to have peace of mind, I'm going to have a great product, it's going to be at a great price. But Taka.ng is the I, first I'll place. I have, have a brand new cars. Brand new cars. Because I want to move from buying new, used cars to brand, brand new cars. <laughs> Don't we all, right? Yes, we, yeah. we, we're hoping that the economy will get us back to the point where more, more Nigerians will be able to afford brand new cars again. But pending that time, what we've done is to say, look, we want to provide the next best alternative that is as almost that will make you feel almost as if you're buying a brand new car in terms of its look and feel and its quality and how it lasts for you. Okay, Lou. So um our time our time is fast is 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 almost gone in 30 time seconds yeah, usually, <laughs> usually we have our guests give us a quote that inspires them so for someone like me one of the things i always say is that a hustler never stops learning until he dies so just <laughs> give us that that one line phrase that pushes you or wakes you up every morning to ensure that better car gets to the next level all right, Wadi, thank you. And before I say that, very, I'll just mention very quickly that, again, betacar.ng is the best place you can, anyone can, out there can think of that's thinking of buying a car, a quality car that gives you peace of mind. Plus, we provide better car financing to enable people access cars that they want easier. So peace of mind and financing from betacar.ng, I think, is, is the message I want people to live with, on the one hand. And then with regards to your point on the code, I think for me, the, the best quote that always comes to my mind is that always add value. Everyone should always add value and you would always be in demand. If you're adding value, you will always be in demand. Adding value brings demand. Thank you very much, Lou, for being our guest today. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I'll hand over back to Bukola so that the show goes on. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And the entire Better team says thank you too. Back to Bukola, this has been BHH, Business Affair on Classic 97.3 FM. <laughs>